To create a connection to data in BIME, in the Data Sources section of your account, click on the New button. Here you'll see all of the different data sources available. We have Excel and CSV file on-premise connectors, as well as those files in Dropbox, Drive, SkyDrive, Box, FTP, URL or WebDAV. In terms of online services, we have access to Google Analytics and Spreadsheets, Omniture, YouTube, Dailymotion, Twitter, Salesforce, QuickBooks, Alfresco, Gmail, GitHub, Facebook, and Zendesk. In terms of big data connectors, we have Google BigQuery, Amazon Redshift, HP Vertica, Vectorwise, and SAP HANA. And finally, for relational databases, we have MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, Postgre, Google Cloud SQL, and BIMDB. Here we're going to connect to an Excel file. So I'll select my data source, give that data source a name, and then choose the source file. I'll then need to select the sheet in my Excel file that I wish to connect to. Next, the fields of your data set will be split into attributes and measures. And it's here we can check that everything is where it should be. If not, we can move from measures to attributes or vice versa. Reference, for example, needs to be an attribute in this case. In this case, we're working with an Excel file that's on-premise. So in order for it to be available online, we'll need to take a snapshot and upload it to cloud storage. If, however, the data was already stored online, cloud storage would be optional. The three cloud storage options offered by BIME are Deja Vu, up to 200,000 rows, BIME DB, up to 10 million rows, and BigQuery, which is unlimited in its cloud storage capacity. All I need to do now is click on Save, and BIME will start importing your data. Once BIME has finished importing your data, you will find yourself in the Query Builder, where we can start building our first query. And then in the next video, we'll show you how we can get started by building that first query.